Your mom told me you got accepted into an art academy in Spain. It's, uh, it's really great. Congratulations. Yeah, I think I just got lucky. You know, who knows? Maybe they had to take an American. Uh, you know, schools only take the best. They're not going to waste their time unless you're really good. Maybe. But, um, it's expensive. You know, I still have to get all the lambs together before I know if I can go. Yeah, that's, uh, that's why I'm here. I, I want to pay for it. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's super generous of you. Um, but it's, it's not necessary. I, I, look, I get it if you think I'm you know, trying to buy a place in your life or buy forgiveness, but I'm not. I know I have to earn those things. And hopefully one, one day those things will come. Yeah. But with this, this money, there, there are no strings attached. Okay, I'm just offering it to you because when I wasn't much older than you, I had a really important decision to make in my life. And it was a decision that shaped the rest of my life, like the one you're about to make. And I want you to be able to choose to be the happiest without having to worry about how you're going to pay for this. It's really nice of you. I mean, it's a once in a lifetime. I never come around again. And um, if I'd been a, a, a different kind of father, any kind of father of your pay for your school wouldn't even be a question. So please take the money. Don't let my failings mess with your future. You should see how all in Willow is on your campaign. I mean, it's practically all she talks about. And she'll be your biggest supporter. Well, as long as you don't let politics get to your head and you stay the stand-up guy, we all know yeah. well. I'll do my best. And you will succeed because that's who you are. You guys sent you to prison and you forgave her. You even gave her a job back at Crimson. Yeah, that was just a smart thing to do. And it paid off. And Crimson has never been more successful. Look, I really, I really respect your judgment, and uh, I'll follow your lead on this. And you're sure you can handle working this closely with me? It's good for business, and I will put a smile on, and do it. Of course you would wonder what it could have been between the two of you. You're a remarkable woman, although what man wouldn't? A remarkable person who kissed her in-law while her husband was in the next room. I'm not saying that it isn't a big deal, but things happen in life. They just do. Drew's a handsome man, and he has some good qualities, and your lives have intertwined in ways that have blurred the line a little bit, right? It was a mistake. It's understandable. You're human. Don't beat yourself up too much about it. Even if it costs me my marriage. One kiss under the influence of fireworks does not need to lead to a divorce. Well, Michael might feel differently when I tell him. Then don't tell him. I could never have been an intelligence agent. I'm too selfish. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to save the world. I just want to save myself and the people I love. Well, don't make a mistake thinking all life is altruistic. That's how I believe the idealists and the ideologues. I'm more of a pragmatist. If I can tilt the scales a little more towards justice or stop the worst actors from wearing roughshod, I'll consider that a job well done. It's not your job anymore, though. Correct. Uh, now I just take pride in a well mopped cafeteria. <laughs> so, the FBI. My lawyer says um, if they follow through with their threat, and they take me to trial. So I have a 30% chance of acquittal. 30%? Don't like those odds. Maybe we can improve them. You're wrong, Charlotte. You two Cassidines are proof that you're not all bound for tragedy. I hope so. Now I just want to make things right. I wish I could go back and handle everything so differently. 